Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Beverly Garcia. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A with a special guest. He is my husband. I have him here. Come in. Come. He's being a little crazy. He does. He's very camera shy, so... This is my husband, Juan. For those of you who don't know him, he's been in some of my vlogs, but this is him. Hi. <laughs> okay, so it's pretty awkward for him for the first time because he's never really been on the spot like this. But in today's video, we're going to be going ahead and answering some questions that you guys um, asked me over Snapchat, Instagram, or just messaged me directly because this was a while ago that I asked you guys. But we are going to be finally answering them. There's not a lot because it has been a while. And we're going to go ahead and answer as much questions as we can. So if you guys want to go ahead and stay tuned, keep on watching. Okay, you guys, I have my iPad right here and I'm just having, I'm getting them off my iPad. So first question, how did we meet and where did we meet? It was at my cuñada's apartment, celebrating my homeboy's birthday. Yeah, that's where we met. <laughs> Ain't nothing cute about it. Okay, so let me tell you my version. It's going to be quick. I'm not going to try to make this long. But we met March, what was it? I don't know. March something 2014 March 14th March 15th around there of 2014 um, we met at my sister's apartment she was having a party it was his friend's birthday party slash the kickback yeah. no it's his 18th birthday party it was his friend's 18th birthday party where we met at my sister's apartment and we basically they kind of set it up kind of uh, because he knew that he was going to be meeting me that day in person and I kind of did too so they invited me and you know that's how that went um, my first honestly memory of him was him trying to get at me putting his hand over my shoulder like this i was drunk <laughs> i don't recall this she might be lying i don't know no i'm not lying i swear i'm not but anyways that's my first memory of that but yes so we met at my sister's apartment and then that's how we met you guys okay question number two when did we meet we just kind of answered that it was march 14th of 2014 what's beverly's favorite food shrimp I mean, a type of food other than just shrimp. Camarones a la diabla. Yes, I do like camarones a la diabla. I love shrimp, almost any type, except for... They gotta be cooked, that's all I know. <laughs> they ain't cooked, she ain't eating it. She don't like ceviche if it ain't cooked. Yeah, Um. so ceviche is that Mexican dish, you know. It kind of cures the shrimp in its own lemon. I really don't like that. I kind of wanted it to be actually cooked because I just have a thing with, like, raw seafood and stuff. I just can't. I just can't do that. Moving on. Are we a jealous couple? No. We are not a jealous couple. I don't care. That's why I call it Sancho. <laughs> We're, no, but we're not a jealous couple. Honestly, me and him are very smooth. I mean, everybody has their arguments and stuff, but it's never really been over a guy or a girl. We kind of like joked around like, whose Instagram pictures are you liking? What girls do you follow? What boys do you follow? This and this, but we're not a jealous couple at all. Not big on me. Sorry. Okay, next question. What's your favorite thing about each other? And this question my cousin Joanna asked. I don't know. What is my favorite thing about you? Could it be the snores? <laughs> Could it be the farts? <laughs> okay, you want to go there? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> You're so embarrassing. I mean, I guess the personality. You get a new one every day. You don't know what you got coming for you. You can be happy. You can be mad. You can be sad. You should be surprised. But you still like that about me. Yeah, sure. You can say that. What do you really like about me? I just said it. My different personalities? Yeah, you crazy as hell. She's crazy as hell, but I, I guess that's what I like about her. He likes my craziness, you guys. Anyway, one thing I do like about him is when he's very caring towards me. For example, if we get into an argument or something and he says no, this and this, at the end of the day, he's very sweet, he apologizes, he comes back to me and he gives me kind of what I want. So that's one thing about him that I like the way that he comes forward and he like apologizes and he's very caring at the end of the day. He tries to act all tough, but at the end of the day, he's the sweetest guy ever. He's lying. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> he's very sweet. I like the sweetness part and the little details that he has sometimes I love that about him okay and she also asked what is the most annoying thing about each other her head hurts for everything <laughs> like I don't know where like my head hurts she could be asleep and tell me my head hurts That's my head hurts all the time honestly I need to actually go get checked about that but that's I annoying. get headaches out of nowhere that's pretty annoying but yeah let's 
me. So the thing that I find a little bit more annoying about him is that out of nowhere he can change his mind instantly if something doesn't go his way or this and that or he just doesn't simply feel like going anymore. He'll just cancel it for himself. So that's the most annoying part about him. Vettel asks, how's keto going? <laughs> I was doing fine. You know, it's not going well. I was doing great. I lost 20 pounds. Missy over here the second week. I probably up. lost about seven only. The third day she gave up. She started bringing snacks around. Peer pressure is pretty bad. Eddie quit. About a month in, I quit because she kept putting Snickers and candy on my face. Whatever. No, so keto, the way that it was going, it was going well like the first two or three days for both of us because we were both doing it very, very good. But then it just kind of got harder and harder and harder. You get those cravings, which I know you could overcome. And I eventually just kind of like quit. And I know it's really bad. I should have self-disciplined myself, but you know, I couldn't resist it. And eventually caught up to him and he was like let me get a little bite let me do this he was really good about it at the beginning but he couldn't hold on no it was almost a month i lost 20 pounds she lost five seven why are you lying you guys he has a very very dry attitude he's not like this all the time so just fyi that's me all the time i'm emo and everybody okay so patty asks who said i love you first I want to say Juan said I love you first because for me at the beginning it was very very hard to like show affection or be affectionate like that and it was maybe like a month and a half in our dating whenever he said I love you first. I don't remember. I want to say it was him. So we'll, we'll say Juan. Okay, another question. Where was our first date? Where was our first date? Hoo Ha Grill. Hoo Ha. Wait, is it called Hoo Ha Grill? Yes, yeah, it's called Hoo Ha. Was it good? Uh, I don't mm, think so. No. It's expensive. <laughs> It was her first day, yeah. Um, I don't think it was that good. Honestly, Genghis Girl, if you guys have ever heard of Genghis Girl, it's a little bit better. But yeah, Hoo Ha Girl was not that good. You can go up as many times as you can. I think it was like buffet style. It was like everything was raw and then they cook it for you. But no, it did not have a lot of flavor. Okay, where are we from? Zacatecas. <laughs> He's from, he's from Casablanca, Zacatecas. If you guys haven't heard of it, look it up. It's a little... Get away as town. <laughs> it's a little ranchito. I don't know. And I was born in Redding, California. So I'm a North Cal girl. You're fancy. <laughs> no, but I was mostly raised here in Oklahoma. It was the same. He was born in Guadalupe, Zacatecas. And raised here. And raised here, basically, too. So we're both technically from Oklahoma. Somebody else asked, how long have we been together in a relationship plus our marriage five, five years. years yeah five years in march it would have basically been the five-year mark for us and just july 29th so that was maybe a week ago a week ago we turned two years married we had our two years anniversary marriage so total five years okay have you guys ever cheated on each other? I haven't. No, we have not. What can I spend hours doing? And this is a question for him to answer on me. She can be on her phone looking at food videos. You guys, I really can't. To turn around and be like, I want this. Five minutes, I thought it was just eight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what i can spend hours doing is watching youtube videos specifically mukbangs those are the best the seafood mukbangs and he just doesn't like it he doesn't like the the eating noises and the cracking noises and all that and to me it's just entertaining and it kind of like sometimes will make me full on some things but some for the most part it will make me very very hungry to the point where i'm like okay i want this i need this i'll go, i'll make it for us and I'm tired of that he's like dang will you quit watching those mukbangs but i will have some some mukbangs on my channel coming soon very sooner than you guys expect okay moving on Vero said to give her a shout out what's up Vero? <laughs> hi Vero. if you guys don't know who Vero is which you guys probably don't she is one of my very close friends her name is veronica or as you may know abby dot lopez or something like that on instagram okay so the next question is best memory we had as a boyfriend and girlfriend when we went to vacation to california i guess oh yeah that's a good one yeah i want to say the same whenever we actually um had a our first vacation as a couple or yeah it was kind of a couple family thing it was him my nephew my mom my brother me when we went to go visit some family in california and i think that's like one of the best memories i guess and then also whenever we would we went to the casino and we got messed up oh, drunk yeah. she was kissing the <laughs> that floor. was one of the memories one of the best memories that i had i went to the bathroom i came out she was full face first on the car stop it's so embarrassing you know you guys i kind of remember some parts 
parts of it, but not a lot. But yeah. that that was a good moment. Was I didn't even gone. lie, Craig. I didn't even get a lie. She that was, was one of the good memories she as was, a date. She was gone, gone. But you know what? We had a DD that drove us home. She was drunk too. No, she was not. She was tipsy. Next question. Don't be looking at my questions. Just kidding. Sure, I'll get off the camera real quick. <laughs> Stop. Okay. What made us think we were meant for each other? What I feel like that made us meant for each other was that we just completed each other that's how i feel some things that he has weaknesses on i have my strengths vice versa even though he'd be acting like this half the time this is how he is and um, oh and, 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 and he is very handy with everything so right i work good with them tools you know <laughs> shut up oh my gosh okay next one how did juan propose this is for you she didn't want me to propose she doesn't like surprises no nope, so i don't like surprises I took, I took her to choose her ring and that's how we proposed because she doesn't like surprises yeah but the promise ring tell him what happened with that, that, that she, no, no 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 this is him I had a ring in the car. I was going to give it to her. Yes, she found it. Then she got mad because I was going to surprise her. She got all mad and offended because I was going to surprise her with it. But now she get mad because I don't surprise her with nothing. We're like, well, you don't like surprises. You can't get mad. Yeah, I guess at the beginning, I really didn't like surprises because it was just kind of awkward for me. But now it's like, okay, we married. You know, this is kind of getting old now. Stephanie asked my cousin, when are we having babies? <laughs> The near future. <laughs> Honestly, right now, you guys, I've, we've gotten this asked a lot. Me and him are just living our life, basically, a lot. And we just have so much going on in our lives right now, which we'll probably make videos of that later, later. And right now, our main focus and motivation is to get our stuff in order, to buy a house, hopefully in the future, get everything settled and over and done with, and enjoy our life because there's still some trips that we want to make before we get there, and then eventually have kids. But yes, that is in our plans just not right now we're trying to be financially stable we are trying to be in a better place than we are now um i don't know i just feel like we're not ready yet do you no i don't think we are so in the near future stephanie we will have kids soon and my mom's been wanting more grandchildren but i guess on our part we're gonna have to wait a little bit we're living our life somebody asked first impressions of each other she was cute i was or i am you was <laughs> whatever <laughs> You all right now. Boy, I'm still but, cute. I, mean, I liked the pers personality back then, but now it's a little different now. My first impression of him was that, okay, he is way over his head. He's a little too cocky, and I just thought he was a little too touchy-touchy the first time we met. Next one. Veto asks... You gotta stop, Veto. <laughs> Quit asking these uncomfortable questions, Veto. Quit. Okay. She says, who farts more? <laughs> she does. <laughs> And You're lying. It's you. She be asleep, but she be letting it rip. <laughs> like mm -hmm. he's lying. Okay, he's lying. Nah. No. Okay. You, everybody passes gas. Obviously, it's natural. But this guy. Now I'm being honest. You out of nowhere, and you're like, hasta pa ya, I need to fart, or this and this. Okay. And I'm like, I'm no, no, my you, thing is you like, you're asleep and farting. That's even worse because you control yourself. You can't. You need to go to the bathroom next time. Yeah. No, it's my yeah. house. I do what I want. <laughs> I'm always like, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. He's like, no, I do what, my, what I want. I do what I want. And I'm like, okay. But yes, it's him. It's him, it's him, you guys. You see, he admits it right there. The next one. Who's more romantic? Neither, to be honest. <laughs> we all have, we both have our moments, but we're not really affectionate that much in public or so much in public. What? I'm more affectionate in public? You ain't. I'm not? When we started dating, I was going to go hold your hand and listen. You're like, nah, why? Yeah. I feel like at the beginning he was more romantic and now I, we're both kind of like, eh. I don't know, out in public, we're just not really that affectionate, but... I guess with, with us two, we can both be romantic at times. It can either be me sometimes or I don't know where he'll be a little cute, you know. But yeah. Who wears the pants in the relationship? And this is another question I think from Beto. Not me. I like wearing shorts. I'm hot. Okay. <laughs> no, um, I feel like we both at times, he can be a little demanding and try to wear the pants. And then I can have it at some times. But I honestly feel like it can be a mutual thing. Honestly, some of these questions are very mutual. Me and him both control everything. The monies, the, the, I don't know, the spending. Oh my God. He tries to control my spending a lot because I overspend at times. So, at times? All the time. At times, at times. But yeah, I feel like both of us, we kind of both wear the pants in the relationship. So yeah. But if you guys have any.
any other questions that if we didn't get to in this video because I was not trying to make it that long because as you guys can tell he ain't trying to be in my videos but I will beg him soon to be in my videos again but if you guys have any other questions you guys want us to answer please leave them in the comments below and I will maybe make a part two to this video so yeah and don't forget to subscribe like and comment her video yay anyways thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned for my next videos bye Deuces. Thank you.